All right, this is 1621 Park Street North, and what we are going to do is we are going to inspect the sewer lines, uh, both under the house and the main line that runs from the house out to the city tap. We're going to do this by running down all the vent stacks on the roof. Uh, based on how the vent stacks on the roof are configured, my assumption is that the sewer runs out of the back of the house and that the city main line uh, is going to be in the alley that's behind the house. Another telltale sign of this is the, uh, the power lines that are behind the house. So what we're going to do is start with, as you are looking at the front of the house uh, from Park Street, we're going to start all the way on the uh, extreme right hand side and we're going to push through the sewer line under the house, get an idea of what kind of pipe it is and where it is. So in this particular case, I've got a combo. Uh, that happens to be coming at me, uh, which tells me that I have gone down quote unquote backwards and that the sewer is flowing towards me. So I'm going to pull the camera out of this stack and we'll come down the other stack to look at the back side of that combo. Uh, lines look fairly new, uh, everything's PVC to this point. So let me pull out of this stack and we're going to go to the four inch stack. When we do the inspection, we want to inspect in the direction that the sewer flows. So this is just a vent that was put in. And when we pop down through that fitting, we're just going down the, the wrong way. So we're going to move to the three inch stack, which is in the middle of the house. All right, so here's our three inch stack. It's also known as the, as the main stack. That's a, uh, that's a revent. That's just where another, they didn't want to make another roof penetration. So they just tied into this three inch vent perfectly fine. That's going to be a sink. That's tying in, and we're gonna pop right into, there we go. Now we're definitely in the main sewer that's under the house. You can tell by the color of the piping. Coming through a combo. What we're looking for is any cracks, or any debris, or any standing water. So far everything looks beautiful. Couple of fittings there, no issue. This looks like it's going to either be a clean out or a vent. So it's going to be a fairly long sewer, so we're going to have several fittings in here where different sections of pipe are connected together. It's going to be, that's totally normal. That's going to be another sink tying in, or a laundry, you can tell by because it's two inch. So based on as long as the sewer is, 
and what I've seen coming in here, my belief is that the sewer is going to exit the property on the back left hand corner of the property. So here is our clean out. And I'm going to want to go locate where that is. I believe that's going to be the entire sewer under the house, which everything looks really good. You can see a piece of toilet paper that's kind of just hanging out right there on the bottom right hand corner. I want to identify exactly where this is. All right, I've got this located. This is actually the city lateral. So this is the city pipe here. So the spot where that clean out is, I've marked it. We should be popping into city clay. Yep, that's our city clay right here, right there. So that clean out is in the backyard. I would say it's just inside the fence. If you go in from the alley side and take a left, between the first and second fence posts, probably about two foot to the left of the first fence post off of the corner. Just in case, I've marked it with blue spray paint, just in case anybody ever needs to know where the clean out is to access it. The sewer is very long, over a hundred foot long. Very long piece of property, but it looks great. I don't see any issues at all with it. Usually when, usually when you have a PVC sewer that's this long, if the ground's not tamped correctly, after about five years, you'll get sagging in it. And I believe this particular property was built in the mid to late 80s, I would assume. So we're 30 years and everything looks everything looks really good so that's going to be right at the edge of the house you can see a small vent there probably a sink or laundry over in the back corner of the garage are clean, no roots, no breaks, no water sitting in here. This looks really good. So to make sure we get all of it, that's why we go to the, the furthest point from where the tap is. That's going to be where one of the middle bass tie in. What I'm going to do when I get a little bit closer is we're going to go check the flow. So there's another combo. It's going to be where another bathroom is tying in. I know I'm close to the kitchen. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to let it run here. I want to go check the the water flow. So I'm going to go run some water. We'll make sure that it's not going to hold any water right here at this fitting.
right, I see no standing water in the fitting. And I was just out talking to the uh, buyer, so that's what took me so long to get back up to the roof. So on our main drain, after flushing all the toilets, running the kitchen sink, running the laundry, if we don't have any standing water in the pipe, then we are good. I'm just going to run out about 25 feet just to make sure I don't see any issues. That's not stand. You can see a little water on the bottom. That's not considered standing water. This camera is extremely, extremely small. So when the camera head goes underwater, that's when we know we have an issue. That's the very, 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 very tiny bit of water. That's completely normal. That I'm not concerned with. So everything looks great. I don't see any issues at all with the, uh, the sewer. I found the clean out and I've got it marked in the backyard. Uh, just so you have an idea of where the clean out is and how the sewer line runs. And I give this one an A+. Plus. Don't even see the, uh, the slightest bit of issue with the sewer whatsoever. Everything looks really good. So we're coming back up the stack now. There was our revamp we passed earlier up in the attic. And we're back up top. And the sewer comes out right about right there. Uh, we're on the roof looking out at the backyard. So right about that guy. Everything looks great. Thanks for watching.